Hello, this is the first video in a series of life hacks on Suricata rules. You may have encountered a problem. The engine's performance decreases because of a large number of heavy rules. Due to this, Suricata may miss some packets and not detect malicious traffic. To avoid this, you can optimize the rules. First, identify which rules contain resource-intensive checks and then remove them. I will show you a simple and convenient way to identify such rules using Suricata tools. There is a special option, Profiling. To use it, you need to build a separate instance of Suricata with the flag Enable Profiling. By default, it is disabled because Profiling takes additional resources from the engine. It is not recommended to enable Profiling on the main Suricata instance, which is used for detecting network attacks and anomalies on live traffic, as this can affect detection efficiency. After we have built a separate instance with Profiling, we can configure the output options in the suricata.yml. Let's look at the Profiling section. Here we can specify a sample rate to enable profiling on every nth packet. Uh, by default, every packet is profiled. For example, if we specify a sample rate of 1000, profiling will be computed for one packet for every thousand received. Let's move on to the rules section. This is the setting for enabling profiling by rules. We write yes in the enabled line. Then we specify the name of the file where the results will be saved. By default, it's ruleperf.log. Uh, we can also add sorting options for rules, limits for displaying results, output format, and so on. You can read about all the settings in detail in the Suricata manual. Uh, let's take a look at an example. I'm running Suricata on a random traffic dump. Uh, we can see that three rules were triggered by this traffic. Now we go to the Tempe Suricata folder and select the file where the results were saved, ruleperf.log. Uh, it shows the performance of each rule whose checks were executed on this traffic. There was a total of four rules. They are displayed in the file in descending order of average CPU time per check. The first rule took up 99% of the engine's time, but it didn't trigger any matches. This rule had zero matches, although Suricata performed 11 checks. The other three rules were triggered. The second and third rules had one check and one match, while the fourth rule had two checks and one match. Thus, it is worth optimizing the first rule, since it is the least efficient. If you want to learn more about using Suricata and practice with an expert, register for the new X-Training course Suricata for Incident Response and Threat Hunting. The link is in the description. In the next video, I'll share a simple way to detect encrypted traffic. Stay tuned. See you.